Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to tell you guys this video may go over five minutes, but I thought it would be something that would really interest you. Well, I wanted to tell you guys what money I have saved over the last five years by dramatically changing my budget and what I used to spend. I want to be honest and tell you guys, I'm not making the income that I did a few years ago. And because of that, I did need to make some budget changes. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I really think about those changes and be honest with you guys about it. I know I've mentioned this before. When somebody makes a higher income, in many cases, you have the lifestyle creep. The more you make, the more you spend. Not in all cases, because I do know some people that make a hearty income and they're really good at saving and investing and they're especially frugal. But let's just be honest, it's wonderful to be able to enjoy life and enjoy the fruits of our labor. I think many of us can agree on that. And that's what I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. I'm going to go and tell you guys, I'm going to go through the list of what I've saved and how much I'm saving over the year compared to what I used to spend money on. Let me get started. The first is grocery and spending. I used to definitely spend more at the grocery store, buy more convenience food, buy pre-chopped veggies and fruits, things that would make my life easier, go to the Dollar Tree more often, go to the thrift store more often, go to bookstores more often, just basically do more shopping. And I have dramatically cut that, so I'm probably saving around $250 a month compared to what I used to spend. Then, and that averages out to about $3,000 a year. I'm also going to tell you the yearly amount. Health and wellness. I know I've spoken about this. I used to do an auto ship with a friend of mine, and I ordered other products just in general that I was interested in. I spent about, I budgeted $200 a month. Sometimes I spent more than that. To be honest, many of them I wasn't getting that much of a benefit from. Not that health and wellness products aren't wonderful, but I knew that I wasn't getting benefit to warrant the cost. That saves me around $2,400 a year. Next thing that we had to cut out was Wall Street Journal. Got benefit from it, but it wasn't a need because of some budget constraints. And that saves us about $576 a year. Now this is a confession time and I didn't tell you guys one of the ways I was spending money. And some of you might be going, Dawn. Well, one thing, because I work hard, that I enjoyed doing with my daughter is we went to get a pedicure. And I really enjoyed it. And I would also get my nails buffed and, you know, trimmed up. Not painted, though. But I would do that once a month. Well, it depends on the month, but I spent about $70 a month doing that with tip. And so that basically, that was about $840 savings a year by cutting that out. Then, I also used to have my house deep cleaned about three times a year. And so that was about $300 a year. I'm not doing that, so that's a $300 savings. Also, satellite radio, that was about $48 a month, so I'm saving $576. I also was a member of this and had some kind of thing with um, Legal Shield. Like them, they're a great company, but I couldn't afford that anymore at the time because of some changes. That saves me about $468 a month. Insurance, I made some changes on different insurances we have. And I'm saving about $135 a month, so that saves us about $1,620. Cable TV didn't completely cut the cable cord, but I actually cut it way down, so that saves us about $360 a month. Car, we don't have a car payment. We're, keeping, we're driving less. We are taking good care of the car we have, and we're saving towards another vehicle when that need comes. And not having a car payment, that saves us around $250 a month and about $3,000 a year. House payment. No longer have a house payment. And I w wish that this actually saved us more because it sounds like if you don't have a house payment. But our taxes are $325 a month because our taxes have gone up. And also our homeowner's insurance, uh, because we were underinsured, that actually went up too. And so I'm saving around $3,300 a year, not having a house payment. Magazine subscriptions, I used to get a bunch of different ones. I've really cut back on that, and I generally only get free ones, except for one paid one that I have. That actually saves me about $100 a year. This averages at over $7,000 a year in saving compared to what I used to spend. I also want to mention to you guys, and I actually missed this. I used to have... 
Time Warner Cable, which is now Spectrum, still very happy with their service. I have Verizon Home Phone service. Well, they changed and they're no longer Verizon, and so I did not have my house phone anymore, so I spent about $105 a month on that. Now I have a phone through Spectrum. Not that I'm not happy with it, but I have to be honest. I really miss having a house phone because then that way if your internet goes down, you have a house phone. And it's not hooked up to the internet. It's not VOIP. So, yes, I have a cell phone, but I really do miss having a house phone and a landline. That's the one thing I would like. Now, many of you might say, wow, Dawn, I can't believe you spent all this money. And I totally understand it. Some of it definitely wasn't warranted. But I want to tell you how I actually feel about it. I understand it's great to be frugal. I understand it's great to save money and to be debt free. Nobody could disagree with that, right? But I also think that it can feel really demoralizing when you're working a lot and there's things that you enjoy in life and you have to cut them out. So let's say somebody really enjoys getting their hair done and it, they really get along with their hairdresser and it's something that, that really makes them feel good. They go every six to eight weeks and they have to cut it out due to budget constraints. I understand that sometimes you do what you have to do, but to be honest, I am all for working on ways to create more income and more abundance rather than constantly cutting things out. That's just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think. I think there's a fine line between making more money and also creating more abundance in our life. And I'm all for actually finding ways to make more money so that we can enjoy our life and some of the fruits of our labor. That's how I feel. And I know that may be very different than many other people that are on a frugal lifestyle. So I'm just letting you know. Before signing off, I wanted to tell you I'm not going to name one particular channel because there's several of them. You guys know I'm doing Modified Keto. Not all of you are interested in that, so I didn't want every day for me to do a shout out to a different keto channel. If any of you are interested in the ketogenic lifestyle or modified keto, I'm going to list a bunch of channels in the description. If you're interested, you can go check them out. You can let them know Money Mom sent you. If that's not your cup of tea, that's fine too. But one of the ladies, she has lost over 200 pounds and kept it off, which I think is incredible. A few of them have great menu plans. There's some really good info there if any of you are interested. I'll list it in the description. Let me know what cuts that you've made and I want to ask one question. Do any of you feel similar to how I do? That it's great to save money and be frugal, but you don't want to feel like you have to cut out everything you love in life. You'd rather have more income coming in. I want to know how you feel in the comments below. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.